Pepper Bottler present Big 12 football. This afternoon from Lincoln, Nebraska, the Iowa State Cyclones take on the Cornhuskers of Nebraska. As the Cornhuskers are looking for their 42nd consecutive home win. And it's going to be a good one against Iowa State. Chris Brown's opening kick. Over 76,000 on hand and we are underway. It'll be Watley right at about the one. Ooh, takes a stick, stays on his feet, and he will be buried at the 10-yard line. Scott Frost, the senior quarterback, believe it or not, last year people were questioning his abilities, but this year he has proven that he can run the option, and he has made great decisions this year. Decision-making this year has improved so much. He's going to run the option on the first play, pitching it back. Lots of running room over the right side. Frost keeps it. A lot of running room. Inside the 25, inside the 20, down to the 18-yard line. Entire country running the ball. Green tries the left side. Big hole, touchdown, Nebraska. Eight this year. 18-yard touchdown run by Green. Puts the Huskers on the board here in the first. Williams in motion. Davis stacked up, and he is going to be dropped. Missouri was able to take advantage of that last week. There were guys wide open. Davis is going to be hammered as he gets to the 25. About the 50-yard line, set the receiver, kicking into the wind. Bobbles the snap, gets it away. Hangs up in the air. Newcomb is going to take it. Penalty flag is thrown. Goodbye! <laughs> Penalty flag is thrown. Newcomb unofficially 53 yards. Let's see who the penalty is against. Oh. We have a halo violation on a kicking team. Five minutes, Nebraska on top. As it is. Already now 14 nothing. Green over the left side. Again, running room. Left side. See ya. 20. Touchdown, Nebraska. He's in a career. Davis, three carries, zero yards. Bandauer is going to be dumped at the 10. Interesting formation. Green, left side, bouncing. Can he get in? Yes, touchdown, Nebraska. 7.37 left in the first. Jason had tremendous huddle presence. Davis, the right side. There are a bunch of red jerseys to surround him, and he's going to lose about six on the play. Eric Johnson, number one, led the charge down the NFL last year. Looking forward to this game. Bandauer has some time. Going yeah. deep. Has Watley. Touchdown, Iowa State. Now Watley, his touchdown pass is number eight on the year. He was trying to control the football, and it went airborne. Uh -oh. Cross on the option. Look out. Crosses the 35. Going to be pushed out of bounds at the 30-yard line. Cross pitches it back. Running room. Bobby Newcomb. Touch. Down Nebraska, which they scored 35 points. They're 269 and one all time. Second and ten, Bandauer rolls out, has to dump it off. Pass is complete, and Jerome Evans is immediately hit. Bandauer has time. Ball is stripped. It's loose. Iowa State will recover it, but it'll belong to Nebraska on down. The fullback. Frost is going to put it up. Looks for Newcomb. Got him. Nebraska red. On the second. First and ten for Nebraska. Ball on the 24. Reverse. Fake reverse. I'm on Green. Blasts his way down to the eight-yard line. On the eight, I should say. Makovica straight up the middle. Touchdown, Nebraska. Early in the second. Sun breaks through here in Lincoln. Darren Davis trying to break through. And he's not going to get to the 30-yard line. On third down, Nebraska two of two. On third down, conversions. Make it three of three, Scott Frost. Takes out of the various positions. Right up the middle. Touchdown, Nebraska. From about the one-yard line. Ten ball on the nine-yard line for Iowa State. Well, McBride thinks they have six to complain on. Bandauer has time. Uh -oh. Penalty flag is thrown. The ball is loose. Nebraska will get it. Bill Arkansas. Ross going to put it up. Looks oh. over the middle, wide open, touchdown Nebraska. What he did. Nebraska 56-3 and three over the past five years. Ooh, David's not going to get it. Nope. He is going to be driven back. This stuff. He came into the game two touchdowns short of a record for touchdowns for a fullback. Pass is complete to late. 
They got it. Five seconds left to play in the opening half. Mike, uh, one of the happiest men has to be right here, Coach Tom Osborne. You're putting on quite a clinic, close to 400 total yards. You're only giving up 14 yards rushing. Got to be extremely pleased. Well, I, I think our players are ready to play today. They played hard and, and uh, really sorry about that last touchdown. We were hoping we could just run a sneak and not even get in the end zone, but they didn't get lined up, so we put it in. But uh, we've played well, and we're pleased with the execution. A lot of walk-ons and backups. I'm sure we'll get a lot of action in the second half. Everybody's going to get to play, and uh, that's the nice thing about a game like this, to get a lot of people in the last home game. Okay, thanks, Coach. Okay. <laughs> we are line them up. Yeah, line yeah. them up. We're at halftime. Oh, Nebraska leads it by a bundle. Oh. They'll keep it on the ground, straight up the middle, a big hole again for Amon Green. Tom looking for his fifth consecutive 11-win season. Bandauer's pass is picked off. Intercepted by number 21, Mike Brown. Seven yards. Green, right side, big hole, look out. Touchback again. He's got the ball, post his sight, up at the two. Hurt in the first half versus Colorado, tried to come back in the second half. Oh. No avail. That is a stick. Joe Parmentier gets leveled by Mike Brown. Six for 13 on third down conversion. Bandauer. Oh, gets hit. It's going to be dropped. Boy, <laughs> halftime adjustments. Too many to make. Too many. Frankie London's the quarterback. Scott Frost is sitting down. We've got a bunch of new players in now for Nebraska. Jay Sims. Second and 10. Ball is on the 11. London with a pitch back. Nice job keeping his hands on it. Sims looking for the ball. Ryan doesn't get it. Run out of bounds at the two. They have the ball at the two. Davis stacked up at the goal line. Carlos Polk, number 13, the freshman out of Rockford, Illinois, coming up with a stop. Again, Newcomb standing at the 45-yard line of Iowa State. Not a good kick. Taken right at the 40. Uh -oh. Look out. Uh -oh. Shevin Wiggins all the way down inside the five, down to the four-yard line. That is the quarterback. He's going to keep it. Down Nebraska. Left in the third. Let's go down to Jim Knox. Jim? Okay, Ron, before 1900, the Nebraska football team that was not always known as the Nebraska Cornhuskers, check out some of the names. Before 1900, there were the Nebraska Golden Knights along with the Nebraska Antelopes and the Nebraska Butt Eaters. Now, in 1900, a sports editor from the local newspaper decided enough is enough. He stuck the name Cornhuskers on them and it has stuck with them ever since. Nebraska bug eaters, that's not too intimidating. <laughs> it's not hardly. Here's Tyrell Watley's already set a school record for return yardage, and he's adding to that. Not moving fast enough for Dan McCarty. Christo keeps it. Looking for the end zone. Oh. Double dribble. From the one. Touchdown, Nebraska. Tampa. Jeez, look at those numbers. Ninth consecutive 100-yard game, 209 on just 15 carries. Not a bad average, and here is one of the TDs. Well, nice blocking up front. He follows that fullback's lead block, and then once he gets the open spaces, he turns the after jets on and see ya. He's a, a, a rare combination of speed, power. 45 seconds left, not moving fast enough. Rosenfeld looking for Pater. Pass is going to be intercepted at the three. One of their 220th consecutive sellout. They win again here in Lincoln. Well, two things that happened Iowa State didn't want to have happen was problems in the kicking game and turning the football over. Those are two things you, that you hope you do well against Nebraska, is perform in the kicking game and secure the football. And All they did was add gasoline to the Nebraska fire, and it just raged out of control. 42 consecutive wins here at Memorial Stadium for the Huskers. They win it, and they do it in fine fashion. 77-14 to 14 is our final.